In this video, I'm going to show you how the Calico Project Document Tools package works. All three of the Calico Project extensions have been installed in this notebook. So the Calico Document Tools package comprises uh, this cluster of buttons in the toolbar. I'm going to describe how all of these work in this video, except this one, which is bibliographic support, and I'll describe that in another video. All right, so uh, here is a mock-up paper. Uh, with sections and subsections uh, made using heading 1 and heading 2 and heading 3 uh, kinds of cells. Um, so suppose I've been working hard, I'm looking at my paper and I'm thinking it's pretty done. Uh, if I wanted to make a table of contents, I could click the Generate Table of Contents button. And this is going to appear at the top of my document. It's really great, there are links to all the sections. All right, Very handy. So. Uh, if I don't want it, I can always regenerate it and take it uh, back again. Uh, so suppose I also decide that I want section numbers. I can generate section numbers and it'll put a section number at the beginning of every heading cell and appropriately label it. It will also change all the names of the sections with the correct numbers in the table of contents automatically and the links all still work. All right, now uh, suppose I decide I want to reorganize the paper. So I take section one, and if I want to move it, I can use this button over here, move the whole section down. And now it's below section two. I can move it back up. I can do this with any subsection. Now this subsection is below this subsection, right? it up and if I do rearrange the paper then when I regenerate section numbering it takes care of it for me and takes care of the table of contents if you ever decide that you want to get rid of section numbering after you've already numbered all your sections the buttons a toggle so you can unnumber and the table of contents will automatically update all the links will still work